So it looks like I'm coming back for my little break a bit early. Now, I do want to talk about this part a little bit before I get started with this video. I have been hearing a lot of news break out this month for August that I thought was really important to talk about. And I've been hearing a lot of stuff about how Helldivers 2 and the community was absolutely mad at Arrowhead. And I've been hearing a lot of stuff about how Elden Ring could possibly get sued for basically being too hard or something like that. And I've been seeing a new update for Cult of the Lamb and how the newest update has more crashes and making the game basically harder to play, if not unplayable. And now we got this massive piece of news from Activision and basically they just shut down another fan-made project that would have helped preserve another game and basically Activision said fuck you to the entire COD community once again. So yeah, a lot of new stuff that has been breaking out. So I do want to try to cover all of them as best as I can, but for the sake of saving everybody time, for this one particular video, I'm just only going to be talking about Call of Duty and talking about Activision itself regarding this fan-made project mod surrounding Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. So, let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode on Activision is failing the Call of Duty franchise. And this time, we're going to be talking about a fan-made project of, of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered being shut down by Activision, and how this pissed off the entire community once again. Now, it's no open secret that Activision absolutely hates it when fans try to preserve their classic titles. It's been known very well that Activision does not give a flying fuck when it comes to the classic Call of Duties because they want people to play the newer Call of Duties. They don't want people to play the older COD games and realize this is what COD used to be. So, there is this fan-made mod called HM2, I think it's what it's called. And basically what it is, is it's supposed to preserve the Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. So the way that this mod works, if I'm understanding this correctly, is you had to buy Modern Warfare Remastered on PC if you play the game on Steam. And this mod basically gave you access to some of the some of the fun stuff that you weren't able to get before like some of the exclusive campaign weapons for modern warfare 2's campaign some other fun little goodies from modern warfare 2 and i think they even try to throw in some classic cod 4 maps in there even for this mod and basically how this mod was supposed to work is that you had to buy Modern Warfare Remastered and then install the mod. And once you did all that, then you have access to Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Now, before I get into the hot seat with Activision, I do want to say this. Fans have been basically asking for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered for years upon years. And the closest thing we got was Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered. And I'm going to be honest, I thought that was really flipping stupid on how they decided to do a campaign remaster. Because if that was the case, then why not just remaster the whole game? Remastering one part of the game is basically just a waste of time. Now, when this news broke out, Modern Warfare Remastered was on sale for a while, and it was one of the top-selling games over on Steam charts for a while, and then Activision decided to do a massive rug pull to its community, and they basically just said, no, fuck you, we're stealing your money, and we are shutting down the fan-made project of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. And this has pissed off a lot of people, and rightfully so, because it's been made very clear over the last several years that Call of Duty has just been in a 
complete shit spot for a long time now, and this just proves that no, nobody wants to play the newer COD games, really. They wanted to go back to the classic titles, and they wanted to experience Modern Warfare 2 all over again. I have the response from the H2 multiplayer mod, or at least the, the people that made this mod, and they came out with a statement and they said this. Today, our team members received a cease and desist order on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the H2M mod project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations immediately and permanently. So basically, like I've already said, Activision just gave the COD community the middle finger and said, fuck you, you're not preserving our older titles, we're going to be sending you out this letter, and if you don't comply, we're going to sue you to the fucking ground. That's what Activision basically just did. Now, I'm not sure what it is, but it just seems like I've been hearing some things about people trying to throw the claim out there, like, oh, hey, these people are trying to pirate Modern Warfare 2 and all that blah, 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 nonsense. Now, look, I can understand if you're trying to preserve a video game, and if you're trying to pirate it just for preserving, I can understand that. But however, I, I do want to say this. This was not a pirated project. People were not pirating this game. They were downloading Modern Warfare Remaster, like the actual game itself, and then they were waiting on this small little group of people to release this mod for Modern Warfare Remastered, therefore allowing us to not only play Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer remaster, but allowing us to get a couple of little extra goodies in this little mod as well, if we got the mod. Now once again, this was not like a pirated thing. This was a dedicated fan-made project that people wanted to do. Like they wanted to help Activision and try to help preserve the classic titles. But Activision basically just said, no, fuck you, we're taking your money, and we're shutting down this project. Now, this is my little theory on what has been going on. I think Activision was aware of all this, and they decided to put the game on sale and wait until the last minute, and then they decided to do the rug pull from everyone's feet, and basically just catch them with their pants down. And basically just say, ha ha, fooled you. We're shutting down this project. Give us your money, you Call of Duty pay pigs. Like, I just don't understand why Activision would do this. Oh wait, I know why. It's because they don't want people playing their older games. They don't want people to have fun with the older titles. They don't want people having fun. Like, it has been made very clear that Activision has no respect for their classic titles, they have no respect for their community, and they have no respect for basically the entire franchise. Like, they have no respect for anything other than making money. And what this move from Activision says to people, it basically is telling everybody... Yeah, we know that our newer Call of Duty games suck. We know that our newer Call of Duty games are not as popular as the classic titles are. But we're going to be shutting down this project because we want you to spend more money on these battle passes and all these skin bundles in our newer COD games that are mediocre as hell that not a lot of people are going to enjoy anyway. We want you to pre-order that new Call of Duty game coming out that's going to probably have a bunch of issues day one. We want you to pre-order our newer titles. We don't want you having fun with the classic titles. That's what Activision is basically saying to people. Like, no, I'm not going to. I'm not buying Black Ops 6. I'm not pre-ordering it. I'm not going to play the newer Call of Duty games. All this has done is basically damage Activision's reputation even more, and it makes me want to avoid Activision even more, and it makes me want to avoid the Call of Duty franchise even more. 
it's been made very clear that Activision does not like it when people are trying to have fun with Call of Duty, and they don't like it when we try to preserve the classic titles through fan-made project mods. I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. Have you seen games like Counter-Strike Go? Keep in mind, that originally started off as a fan-made mod, and then developers saw creativity in that, and they decided to take those people in and help make their mod a reality. They help make make it like a full-blown game and th and make it something that people love and enjoy. And there is some creativity within these projects of these fan-made games. There is some fun you can have. Like, you can make a fortune and a living with these fan-made projects and these indie games. But unfortunately, all this move has done was Activision has basically damaged their reputation even more. They basically stuck the middle finger to their community, and they basically said, fuck you, we know that our older games are better, and we know that our newer games are not doing that well, so we're gonna shut down this fan-made project. Like, this is just disgraceful to the Call of Duty community, man. And if you ask me personally, like, I would avoid all of Activision's games going forward because keep in mind, like, this was supposed to be, like, a fan-made project, and Activision was being that overprotective person where they have to defend their IP and everything, which I get it, you know, it, they're trying to defend their intellectual property, I get that, but keep this in mind, the people making this mod, this was a free thing, they were not trying to make money off it, they were doing this for free, and they were just trying to help benefit Activision by reviving a classic title, but Activision doesn't care about that because they have no respect for their community and they have no respect for the older COD titles. And I know a lot of Call of Duty fanboys are going to be pissed off at me, but I don't really care because the fact that the older Call of Duty games are basically just getting shit on by Activision just proves to everyone that Activision doesn't care about their older games, and they only care about monetizing the newer ones with crappy battle passes and microtransactions that nobody wants, and nobody likes the newer Call of Duty games anymore. So, yeah, fuck Activision. I truly hope that this company goes bankrupt after this, but knowing them, they're not going to. I want this company to go bankrupt for the terrible things that they have done. And them shutting down another fan-made project just continues to prove my point on how terrible Activision is as a company. So with this being said, thank you everyone for watching and for listening. And until next time, talking about Activision shutting down a fan-made project of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. And I'll see you all later.